Hey, y'all. Uh, it's almost time, ain't it? We're right there, man. What are we, like four months maximum away from being in Ashes of Creation, actually getting to play the game together? Oh, man, I'm so excited for that. I've been the, these last over this last weekend when all the hype went crazy with the lifting of the verbal NDA. I have been just reminiscing, getting all nostalgic for the Alpha One times when, you know, we were all playing the game together and, and it was awesome. And I'm really, really excited for Alpha Two. Um, and, you know, with that in mind, I'm, you know, you read it in the title. I'm starting a guild. Um, I do want to give a little bit of a backstory on where this all is coming from and what, how I've arrived here at this uh, decision now today. Um, back during the Alpha One time frame, I let a couple, couple of uh, content creators that I don't, well, I don't really talk to either one of them anymore, at least not very much. Um, I let them convince me that you can't be a content creator and a guild leader at the same time. Um, you wouldn't have enough time or, you know, whatever. Um, and so I spent the better part of my time from the end of Alpha 1 to now, basically, not not formally interviewing guilds, but talking to guilds, hanging out with different guild leaders, hanging out in different guilds' discords, listening to how they're, they're structuring their guilds, what their plans are, and, and all these types of things, trying to figure out what guild would be a good fit for me. Um, because, you know, you can't be a guild leader and a content creator at the same time. And I kept running into one problem kind of over and over again. Um, I made a video, God, I want to say it was before Alpha 1. It was a long time ago. And I think the name of the video was like, Guilds are going about this backwards or something like that. And in that video, I kind of make the, the point that a lot of people think that Guilds are going to build nodes in Ashes of Creation. And I actually think that, at, that nodes are going to build Guilds. Um, it's, they've got it backwards. It's, it's the other way around. Um, and that's for a whole bunch of complicated reasons. But the primary one is, according to Steven and according to Intrepid, they want to set up a situation where your node citizenship, your node affiliation will be more important than your guild status, your guild affiliation, what guild you're in. Um, and no other MMO in history has ever done that. I don't think any of them's ever even attempted that. Um, and I don't think that people really have thought about how much that could change. And then it was, it's going to be impossible for any of us to really predict how it's going to make it change. Um, just make everything change. It's going to make a lot of things different for a lot of different reasons. And that has always like set the, the way these guilds have gone about structuring and setting up what their plans are it's always kind of rubbed me the wrong way and I couldn't figure out exactly why, but I think it's because having a plan, you're, you're like planning to control something that we don't even understand yet. If that makes any sense. Um, they're, they're, you know, like, let's say your, your plan is you want you, your plan, you we're, we're going to be a religious guild. That's the point. We're going to live in a divine node. We're, you know, we're going to hit the religious system very hard. That's our whole thing. And then we get into, to Alpha 2 and the religious nodes just aren't strong. They just don't, they don't work. They're not nearly as compatible or comparable to the other ones. They're the fourth option by far. And now you've built your entire system on this. Do you change? Do you start swapping out and trying to change course all, all of a sudden? And if you do, and then you get the course change and then an update comes out and boom, and now they make it better or even with all the other ones, now you're like scrambling trying to go back to your old way. Um, it just seems, it seems premature to me to be trying to predict how any of us are going to play this game. Like we all think we know, but who knows? You get in here and it's different. This is a different game. It's a revolutionary game. It's a game that's doing things in many different ways that just aren't done in other games. It's not done in other MMOs. Um, and I think that's always just rubbed me the wrong way. And, and then I was having... Conversa I've been having conversations about the last three weeks or so um, with a number of different people. And it has become obvious to me that there are, I wouldn't say all, just a whole boatload, but several people, probably more than 10, um, who are basically just waiting for me to say, okay, Guild, now let's go. Um, if it was only one or two, I might ignore that, but it's more than that. And if, if I have 10 or so who are actually saying it to me, it's a high probability there are a bunch who aren't actually saying it to me. Um, so 
with that in mind, I'm starting a, a guild. Um, as it has always been in the past when I've started guilds, it, it, it is a... I'm kind of being thrust into it. People look to me uh, to, to be the leader for reasons that I don't really understand, but it's been that way most of my entire life. Um, so I'm going to be starting a guild. The name of the guild is going to be Organized Chaos, which is exactly the same as my guild in Star Wars The Old Republic. And if you'd like to have just a tiny bit of history of what my time as a guild leader has been like, I suggest watching my video called um, How I Became the Leader of a Progression Guild Without Knowing What Progression Rating Was, and then one called Addressing the Ashes of Creation Drama, which isn't really about my time in a guild, but I, I there is some stuff in there that's very important. So if you want any history on that, you can go back and watch those things if you haven't already. And the purpose of this guild, the objective of this guild is going to be to learn what our objective should be at launch. So this object, this guild is going to exist for Alpha 2, and the point is learning. We're trying to figure out what works, what doesn't work, what we like, how we want to play the game. And that way, when we start launch, we're not starting from, from nothing. We're actually starting from an educated uh, standpoint of having actually experienced it and done it and know that that's what we want to do. Um, as, a, as an aside to that, kind of secondarily, um, w one of my mottos have been for a long time now when it comes to guild leadership is elite, but not elitist. Um, I am looking for players who are talented, who want it, who go after it, who who actually want to be good at their class. They want to be good at whatever type of game it is that they play, whether that be PvP or PvE or whatever. Um, they actually strive and go out there and try to achieve, but they don't knock other players who don't do that. Because it may be important to you, but maybe, but, but maybe it's not important to the other guy. Maybe maybe he's the next Picasso and you can't draw stick figures, but you're awesome at Ash of Creation and he's mediocre. Well, he cares about the art and you care about action creation. And I'm looking for people who see the world that way. Um, they want to be good. They want to be great, but they don't want to knock others who aren't as good as them or who don't take it as seriously as them. Uh, so that's what I'm looking for. And if you think that fits the fits you the bill, you think you're that guy, um, I would love to have a conversation with you. If you click the link in my description below the town to my Discord, um, there is a guild application there. And I will be taking a cue from Intrepid, who responds to every single person who applies for a job at their studio and is going to respond to every single content creator who applied to be in the part of the content creator program. I am going to read every application, personally interview every person who applies, and I will let every person who who goes through that interview process know uh, yes or no and why, basically. Um, so that is my promise to you guys. And I mean, that's really all I got, guys. The the. It's, we're almost here and it's time like I'm so excited I'm excited to make content again for the first time in probably two years um, I'm really really excited to get after it uh, the, the content's gonna start rolling and then of course once Alpha 2 is actually here and I can make the content I want to make instead of thin air uh, the content will really start flowing so it's coming real t real soon guys so I look forward to hearing to s hearing from some of you for the uh, for the guild application and the rest of you guys I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video